the usual media outlets and commentators have jumped on the recent story about the quote from the new documentary on Pope Francis titled Francesco. I won't go into too much detail on the background to the documentary and that kind of stuff, though one key point I will mention at the outset is that the director is a homosexual Israeli Defence Force veteran. It's not in the scope of this video to cover the implications of this important detail, but it's worth bearing in mind before we proceed. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how sensationalist and pharisaical forces have frantically convened and subsequently churned out a frenzy of irresponsible content on this matter, erroneously indicting the Vicar of Christ and successor of Peter of various charges. The clip from the documentary is actually a heavily edited mishmash of answers Pope Francis gave in an interview a while ago in 2019. It was all stitched together for this documentary. Pope Francis is allegedly quoted as saying, homosexual people have the right to be in a family. They are children of God. You can't kick someone out of a family nor make their life miserable for this. What we have to have is a civil union law. That way they are legally covered. And so we have the usual sensational headlines. Francis becomes first Pope to endorse same-sex civil unions. Pope Francis backs same-sex civil unions. Francis's new statement stuns Catholics. And the usual so-called traditional Catholic commentators have come to their predictable conclusions. Francis is the anti-Pope. He is a heretic. Vigano for Pope. Benedict is still Pope. Etc etc. I'm going to present three points which will show you why this is basically much ado about nothing. Let's look at the first part of the quote. Quote, homosexual people have the right to be in a family. They are children of God. You can't kick someone out of a family nor make their life miserable for this. End quote. I want you to consider this slowly and carefully. Do you disagree with any of what is said here? If you do, then the error falls with you and not the Pope. Because nothing that is said here contains error. Now there are some who attempt to attribute non-existent connotations to this by playing with the term family. But it should be very clear here that the Pope is not talking about the right for homosexual couples to have children. In fact, given the full context of this quote, Pope Francis is clearly speaking about homosexual children being kicked out of the family, a common occurrence in Latin America, for example. Secondly, let's look at the most important part of the quote. The Pope is allegedly quoted as saying, what we have to have is a civil union law. That way they are legally covered. There are some who propose that Pope Francis has actually been misquoted mistranslated. Some native Spanish speakers have affirmed that Pope Francis's actual words were civil coexistence, which is a wholly separate issue. He speaks about homosexuals being part of the family and calls out against their being ostracized. Civil coexistence pertains to the rights of these individuals, in other words, to matters such as discrimination, etc. But let's assume that Pope Francis did indeed mean civil unions. Father Matthew P. Schneider at the Pathios.com blog did an excellent analysis I will link below. The CDF document from Cardinal Ratzinger is pivotal in understanding the church's stance on the matter of civil unions. It affirms that we should not promote them when neither they nor gay marriage exists in a place. Speaking of homosexual unions, quote, the Catholic lawmaker has a moral duty to express his opposition clearly and publicly and to vote against it. To vote in favour of a law so harmful to the common good is gravely immoral." End quote. The next paragraph notes what should happen once civil union laws are in place. Quote, if it is not possible to repeal such a law completely, the Catholic politician recalling the indications contained in the encyclical letter Evangelium Vitae, could licitly support proposals aimed at limiting the harm done by such a law and at lessening its negative consequences 
at the level of general opinion and public morality. End quote. Here we can clearly see how important context is. The CDF document allowed for support for civil unions if they were already in place. The logic of this is that it is a compromise to allow the state to provide civil unions whilst keeping a redefined marriage off the table. In the year 2020, the globalized, hyper-connected, hyper-liberalized world we live in today, gay marriage is long enshrined in law, deeply enshrined. Thus, in our charity, we should assume that the Pope is wise in his forays into the secular into the secular world in the matter of civil unions. For the third and final point, I want to take a step back and look at this all at a deeper level. Pope Francis is not commenting on church teaching here. The teaching on marriage is never in question, but fundamentally, any talk which verges on the marginalized peripheries of the world is Pope Francis's prudential way of touching souls. Let us charitably not underestimate his wisdom as successor of Peter. The CDF made clear the church's views on civil unions in 2003. I've quoted from it earlier. Pope Francis does not diverge from this. He does not disagree. There is no story here. So you see, this is a lot more nuanced than people might initially think or might have you think. I return back to the fact that the director of this documentary might indeed have his own agenda. The media outlets who originally spanned this story have their own motives too. Pope Francis is clear time and again regarding his views on gay marriage and gender identity, etc. Let's keep calm in the face of so much disinformation and sensationalism. <laughs>